Old Guy Talks is all about creating a kick-ass life for yourself and those that you love. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Opt in now. Even if it starts like a shit show. That's right. Even then. This is Oris, the official old guy at www.oldguytalks.com, helping older guys create kick-ass lives for themselves and those that they love. And the creator of My Junk Does Not Work, where I help older guys find out what their options are in terms of treating their erectile dysfunction with medical ed, medical cutting-edge therapies. Uh, do not be embarrassed. Do not continue to suffer needlessly the answer you are looking for. Well, very likely, most likely, it is there. If you like this, share it. So this morning, this morning did not so start off particularly well. I got out of bed and my lower back hurt. And uh, this has been going on for several months. And I can't quite figure out what I'm doing because uh, sometimes it hurts and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes the things that I do help and sometimes they don't. And I can't predict when this is going to happen, but it happened this morning. And it was particularly bad this morning because usually after I kind of walk around a little bit, it will, it will get better. But it did not. And I uh, went to the gym and uh, usually there I sometimes can, you know, kind of loosen it up and get things working. But even there, I couldn't, actually there was some of the exercises I normally do, I could not do because it hurt and it cranked my back. And even the ones that I did, uh, it would still hurt while I was doing it, but I wasn't injuring it, but it just, it just hurt when I did. And continue to do so. Uh, very frustrating because uh, usually my I usually walk out of the gym pretty energized and excited and ready to move on to the day. But so today was not one of those moments. And then, and then I got home and the door from the garage into the house was locked. That's right, it was locked. And of course, we don't have a key. I didn't have a key, so I couldn't get in. So I'm stuck in this hot garage, and it is hot. And uh, it's I'm like oh shit. Shit, you know what? What uh, I gotta get, I gotta get, gotta get to my day. Gotta get to my day. So I was able to get, get into the backyard and uh, do a little work on my phone, uh, and then I was able to get into the house uh, uh, a little bit later on. But you know, your day, your day can start off like that, and uh, you know it, it happens. It it just happens. It, you just get up, and things your biorhythms are off or just things are not working. Things are not working. They seem to cluster around not working. And the challenge is, the challenge is, are you going to let that dictate? Are you going to let that dictate how the rest of your day is going to go? Whether you're going to be a productive human being or not. Whether you're going to get the things done that you had planned on doing. And are you going to make yourself a better human being to be around because oftentimes when things start off like that and when you're hurting uh well it's not you're not very pleasant to be around you may be cranky and irritable and uh, that's not something that the old guy is very often he's not very cranky or irritable too often but every once in a while he'll get there uh and today was just like i said today was just kind of just one of those frustrating days where i just couldn't couldn't seem to give up but i have a morning routine that i go through i have a morning routine uh, that allows me to change my state. That's right. It allows me to change my state. It allows me to take control of how my mind is working on a daily basis. And uh, when I do that, when I take control of how my mind is working, then I set the tone for the rest of the day, no matter how it starts. Now, I'm not going to tell you this is perfect and this stuff doesn't happen and I don't end up being pissed off mid-morning, late afternoon, whatever. Uh, we all do that. We all do that. At the same time is that if you are in control of how your mind is working, if you are conscious about it and not just reacting, if not if you are conscious about it, then you stand a chance. You know, a lot of people uh, say that the, that uh, it's not that life happens it, and that uh, uh, um, unexpected setbacks happen or whatever, but it's actually how you handle them, how you handle life that is critical to your success in terms of what you're going to be able to achieve on a given day, on a given week, you know, months, and in your life is how you handle the setbacks and how you view them. Do you just get pissed off and angry at the world and become a victim? Or do you actually manage yourself and manage the, the situation in a way that is productive for you and allows you to get the results that you want? 
That's what I did today. So, let me know, how do you manage stuff when your day starts off like a shit show? Tell me. Tell me in the comments below. At oldguytalks.com, it's all about creating a kick-ass life for yourself and those that you love. If you are interested in creating a kick-ass life for yourself and those that you love, then become a member at oldguytalks.com and get access to the cave area where not only do I have my interviews with doctors on cutting edge therapies for erectile dysfunction, but, 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 but I will have other things that are posted in there that will help you create that kick-ass life that you want for yourself and others. And we're going to be talking a lot about different kinds of vices and virtues. So opt in and become a member.